a drink. The bar's closed. And if you're looking for a room, there ain't any. I'm overcrowded as it is, what with them engines, burning everybody out of house and home. All I want is to locate Daniel Boone. Where can I find him? <laughs> well, sir, Daniel! Well, sir, you come to the right place. Him and his family are staying right here until this trouble's over with. Daniel, there's a fellow down here to talk to you. Come right down, Sentinatus. Well, you've been traveling far. Williamsburg. Mr. Boone, I have a dispatch for you. Dispatch from Williamsburg? Maybe it's an answer to that letter you sent to the governor, Dan. Uh, could be. It's a long trip for a man to make alone. I wasn't alone very much. Uh, I was chased by Indians most of the way. Landlord, if it's not asking too much, I, I could sure use a mug of rum. <laughs> All right, sir. And I am sorry for the way I talk to you. You know, everybody's kind of nervous and on edge these days. Uh, you going to let us in on what's in the letter, Dan? Well, the Virginia Assembly is authorized the purchase of a thousand pounds of powder for the defense of Kentucky. Well, glory be. It's about time they realize we've been fighting their war and we're about out of ammunition, too. You know, I ain't got enough powder left in my storeroom to prime a musket. When's it gonna be delivered? It's already been delivered. Been delivered? Delivered where? We ain't seen none of it. To the docks at Pittsburgh to be shipped downstream by boat to Maysville. The governor's made me responsible for its delivery. Down the Ohio? Well, Daniel, you ain't no river man. Nope, but I will be by the time I get to Pittsburgh. Get a hold of Mingo and tell him I'd like to have men and horses meet me when I get to Maysville. Don't worry, Daniel. I'll know what to do. When are you planning on leaving, Mr. Boone? As soon as I unpack some grub and saddle a horse. Then, with your permission, I'll ride back with you as far as Williamsburg. I don't look forward to another trip alone. Be pleased to have you come. and some feed from a horse. Sure looks like you could use some. Yes. How long do you aim on uh, leaving them? Well, that depends. If things go wrong, it could be permanent, in which case you could sell him for the board bill. Sounds like you're going on a trip. I planned on going down the river a ways. Swimming or riding in a boat? I hope to hire a boat. Oh, well, mister, you might have a little trouble there. You see, the Shawnee have been burning everything that floats. I doubt if you'd find any river man would take the risk. Except maybe one. Oh, who would he be? His name is Bill Sedley. Nothing scares him that I know of. And if he's running a little short on money, he just might make the trip. I reckon he's the one I want to talk to. Where can I find him? In a saloon, someplace. You got many of those in this town? Oh, we've got enough of them. But you won't have no trouble, mister. Just walk on down here in the street and keep listening. When you hear something that sounds like a fight, that'll be Bill. He sounds like a real friendly character. Well, I wouldn't go so far as to say that. But he's a he-horse boatman on this river, and he'll get you where you're going. Providing, of course, he doesn't get mad at you and throw you overboard. Thanks for the information. Well, don't thank me, because I ain't doing you any favor. But you asked, and I answered.
Come on, little boy. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Well, I've done it again. <laughs> oh. You must be Bill Sedley. I could be. <laughs> Who might you be, stranger? My name is Boone. Daniel Boone. I never heard of you. I reckon you don't belong on the river. Nope. I'm from Kentucky. Kentucky? You're a long way from home, ain't you? From what I've heard, though, I couldn't blame you for hightailing it. It's real unfriendly country. Now, what can I do for you outside of buying you a drink? Well, I understand you're supposed to be one of the best boatmen in these parts. I ain't supposed to be. I am. I'm half horse and half alligator, and I can out plus and out jump and out run and out drink anybody from the seaboard to the Mississippi. And I can lick any man in this house. Well, I reckon you're the man I want to see. Why don't we uh, borrow that table and find a couple of chairs that are not smashed up, and maybe we can talk a little business. What kind of business? Sit down. I'll make it real short for you. I've got some cargo down on the docks that I'd like for you to take down the river. What kind of cargo? What difference does it make? How far down the river? Maysville. Maysville? That's in Kentucky, ain't it? That's in Kentucky. You just come from there. You mean you're going back? <laughs> What's the matter? You tired of living? Not particularly. Why? Why? Well, that place is overrun by Indians. So I've been told. You want me to take your cargo downstream with them heathens lined up on both banks, using me for target practice? I figure if a man knows the currents and the channels, he might make it. And besides, I'm offered enough money to pay for the risk. Mr. Boone, I just don't reckon there is that much money. And besides, I ain't quite broke yet. <laughs> well, you might be when you finish paying for this bar you just tore up. Or does that come for free? You know, friend, you just might have a point. <laughs> I'm a peace-loving man, and I always pay my bills. Carpenter, you and Talbot, you come on over here. This is uh, Talbot and Carpenter. They're almost as good on the river as I am. Spoon, leastways, that's what he says his name is. Howdy. Howdy. Uh, Mr. Boone has got a cargo that he wants us to take way down to Maysville. I didn't say us. I said you. You mean you want me to do this alone? You won't be alone. I'll be alone. Just to make sure that cargo gets to where it's going. <laughs> well, do you know anything about boating? Nope. I figure I can learn. <laughs> <laughs> well, ain't that just about the best you've ever heard? <laughs> oh, Mr. Boone, I'm afraid that we just don't... We don't have no business together at all. And besides, you're interfering with my drinking. You're turning down my offer. Offer? Well, that ain't no offer. That's an invitation <laughs> to commit suicide. Well, I reckon I got a hold of the wrong man then. The party that told me about you said Bill Sedley wasn't scared of man or beast or the devil. Who says I'm scared? Well, that's the reason you're not going, isn't it? Bill, you ain't just gonna stand there and let that man say them things about you, are you? Nope. I don't reckon I am. Boom. 
nobody calls Bill Sedley yellow and walks away from it. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm a sporting man. I'll make you a sporting proposition. I'll fight you for it. You'll do what? I said I'll fight you for it. Man to man, right here, right now. <laughs> if you can whip me, I'll take your cargo down that river, and it won't cost you nothing. You wouldn't consider doing it any other way? <laughs> No, no, that's my proposition. You can take it or you can leave it. <laughs> well, it seems to me like a real hard way to seal a bargain. But if you want to have it any other way, I'm just going to have to... Hey, Phil, are you hurt? Yeah, you didn't do me no good, huh? Oh, oh, this is going to be real interesting. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Boone, you done made your first mistake. You shouldn't have never let me get up. <laughs> me again because it's not gonna work <laughs> the fact is I'm getting more and more fond of you <laughs> but I've decided I like it right here <laughs> you win well, I'm real glad to hear that <sighs> now, 
What about that cargo? I'll show you just as soon as I figure I'm strong enough to walk that far. <laughs> How much do you weigh? <laughs> 1,000 pounds. Oh, that's a little more than I'm able to lift right now. <laughs> hey, Gardner! I don't know. You don't get my jug. I gotta get my strength back. <laughs> Me and Boone, we got to have a drink before we head for that boat. Thank <coughs> Oh. <laughs> Daniel Boone, you're guarding a cargo that belongs to me. Do you have any credentials? Yeah, I've got a letter signed by the governor of Virginia. Advance and be recognized. Hey, Boone. Now, you didn't tell me you were carrying a cargo for the army. You didn't ask me. This seems to be in order. Here's your cargo, Mr. Boone. Them two soldier boys going along with us? No, they're here just to make sure we get started off right. Going to give me a hand, Bill? Huh? Oh. Hey, you didn't tell me we were carrying powder. I didn't figure it'd make that much difference to you. Well, you know, carrying a cargo like this, a man could get hurt. This gunpowder here is dangerous. Not unless you set fire to it. That ain't exactly what I meant. Now, you're not planning on backing down on me, are you, Bill? If I was real smart, I would. I know a lot of pretty greedy folks that give a lot to get their hands on this. Red or white? Both. Now that you mention it, we got enough ammunition here to kill a lot of people. Or to keep a lot of people from getting killed. Let's get this thing loaded. snags and the channels have to change from one day to the other, you know. I just soon take a chance on that, stay here at the dock now that the guard's gone. Are you afraid somebody's going to waylay you? I'm like you. I know a lot of pretty greedy people in this world, and this powder's not exactly a military secret. Well, moon will be high for a while yet. If it'd make you feel easier, we could run down a ways and tie up midstream for the night. Make me feel easier. Uh, well, you better lash them kegs down real tight, then. Here, cover them with this here. They never know when they may run into some rough water. Well, where are you going? Well, I didn't plan on leaving till sunrise. I got to get my gear and get enough grub to last us on this trip. Well, when you come back, just make sure you don't bring any company with you. Now, whatever makes you think I'd do a thing like that? I already said I liked you. Well, that's what worries me. I just assumed we kept this on a business basis. Moon, you hurt me saying things like that. Man's inhumanity to man. It's getting so nobody trusts nobody no more. A thousand pounds of powder? Why, in these days, that's that just like having that much gold. Hey, don't say that so loud. There could be dishonest people in this room. Well, how are we going to go about stealing it from him? I got that all figured out. And see, Boone, he wants to leave tonight. So you two, you take the skiff and you get on down river. How far down? Well, I plan to let Boone ashore far enough down so it'll take him quite a while to get back here to them soldier boys. Now, you wait for me at the mouth of the musking gum. I'll make it a point to tie up there for the night. I'll signal you with a torch when it's safe to come aboard. What'll Boone be doing all this time? 
Don't you worry about Boone. I'll handle him. Yeah, like you uh, handled him this afternoon, Bill? <laughs> he took me by surprise. But I ain't taking no chances. A uh, couple of drops of this, like the sawbone says, is guaranteed to make a man sleep like a little baby. Hmm. Yeah, well, it, it might be a sight safer to shoot him. Ain't I told you he's a friend of mine? I aim to steal from him, but not to kill him. Well, from what I saw today, you're going to have to kill him someday anyhow, Bill. Because he'll come looking for you. I got that figured out, too. It's been quite a while since you've been down there in New Orleans, and I just don't think you'll bother traveling that far. Now, you two, you better get started. I don't want you trying to pass us in the night. Bushes. Make camp up the trees so we can have a fire. But they ain't a sign of the barge. Well, now, what did you expect? If they came in before sunset, what excuse is Bill going to have for laying over? Come on now, give me a hand at this boat. Wait. Hope she stays that way. Here, you light these and set them out fore and aft. I'll finish getting our supper. Well, this is sort of like asking to get shot at, isn't it? Setting these out? Better than getting rammed. Of course, there ain't much traffic on the river, but you never know when some flat boat will come barreling downstream. You don't want to lose your powder, do you? Nope, I sure don't. Not after all the trouble I've gone to. Well, we'll leave the lights then. I don't reckon no Indian will give us any trouble. Not with one of us on guard. Oh, the uh, nights get mighty chilly out here. I got some water heating on the stove, if you'd like a hot rum toddy. Now and then, Bill, you come up with a pretty good idea. I'll uh, set these out.
from. You know, give me a little time, I could make a river man out of you. What makes you think I'd want to be one? Well, now, any man in his right mind would rather have all this than go walking his legs off in the woods, taking a chance on getting scalped by Indians. Well, I figure you're a man in your right mind. I like to think I am. Except that this river air is making me feel real sleepy. Well, let's go so healthy out here. <laughs> yes, sir, this is the life. There's nothing like a good... And as I was saying, there's nothing like a good drink and a good trustworthy friend. All right, let's get the skiff. or something. I'll be able to see that. When they're cooking their supper, I'm sitting around here. Wake up! Wake up! Oh. Turn around! You know, that doctor must have lied to me. You're not supposed to be awake for a long time yet. Next time you see him, you can ask for your money back. I'll do that. Uh, why don't you go on back to sleep like you're supposed to? Make it easier for both of us? I might have known you'd try to double-cross me. I never said I wouldn't. How to blow a hole right through you? Oh, not with that gun. Hey, just to be safe, I poured the powder and the primer out. <laughs> If I were going to be a river man, I'd learn how to swim. Well, old Bill always figured his boots would pull him under first anyhow. Why do all that work if you're going to drown? Well, he was doing an awful lot of work when I got to him. I wonder if he's dead. No, but it might help if you'd pump a little of that water out of him. He came off close to drinking half of this river dry. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it had been whiskey, he'd have made it. <laughs> Of course, Billy, he never did take much to water, especially not for drinking purposes. Bone, when you get your breath back, you just jump overboard and swim for shore. 
And we won't give you any more trouble. I'd almost forgotten about you. Don't give me any trouble, Bood. Bill don't want you shot because he took a liking to you. But I ain't all that particular. Bill's got some mighty peculiar ideas about liking people. Show him overboard, Talbot. He's rested up enough to make sure. <laughs> Ooh. Made a mistake in hitting Talbot Boone. He made a big mistake by picking up that rifle. It won't fire. Oh, yeah? from now on and make no mistake about it this rifle is loaded you mean to tell me that's thanks we get for risking our lives to put out the fire and save your powder all right thanks and now talbot i want you to grab an axe and chop a hole in the bottom of that skiff i don't want you two trailing me unless you're swimming huh? now get go on plan on doing with us well I aim to see that you're ashore after that it's up to you you can't do a thing like that that's what you were gonna do to me wasn't it well it ain't the same thing at all me and Talbert the boaters we'd had no experience in them woods you'll have a lot of it by the time you get back to Pittsburgh I swear, I don't see no sense in smashing up that skiff. Well, now I tell you, I don't want Bill quitting on me until we get to Maysville. Now I don't have to worry. He can't swim. There's no boat. Now hand me that axe and move around on the other side. I just remembered something. I, I don't swim real good. Well, I reckon it's as good a time as any to learn. you decided to rejoin the living. Oh. Here, take a drink of this. Uh-oh, if that's water, you can just throw it over, Mars. <laughs> it's not water, and it's not loaded down with sleeping potion. I can't figure out is why you did it. Did what? Pull me out of the river. Because I need you to help me get this load of powder to Maysville. But when we get there, I may throw you back in. Or maybe you just couldn't stand by and watch a man drown without doing something about it. Mm hmm. Could you? Oh, but I was real easy for me. Like I said, I can't swim. <laughs> well, that's not exactly what I meant. I didn't exactly think it was. Still, no. I think you're a real soft-hearted man. 
I don't mind you thinking that, just as long as you don't depend on it, in case you've got something else on your mind. There you are. Dagnabbit, I think my chillblains is coming back. Why don't you go out and get some wood? Exercise it help you. You're the one that needs the exercise, but I'll get the wood for you anyway. Chill flames. say this boat carries much fire powder for our muskets? Much fire powder. Likely more than you'll ever see again. And this boat guarded by two men only? That's right. And one of them won't give you no trouble at all because he's a friend of ours. Why you offer such a prize to the Shawnee? Second man is an enemy named Boone. Powder belongs to him. He plans to use it to kill Indians. I have heard of Boone. He is great warrior. His scalp would be trophy for my lodge. I, uh, sort of hoped you'd feel that way about it. But the river is big. How will the Shawnee find this boat? It's my guess they'll lay to for the night somewhere near Point Pleasant. If we go Orvland, we can head them off. Now, you give me six good swimmers, and I'll show you how to take that boat without a shot being fired. It shall be done as you say. Six of my warriors go with you. If what you say is true, your lives will be spared. <laughs> Right now, if I hadn't thought of it. You said 
three of us. Yeah. Well, it appears to me like Bill stands a real good chance of getting killed right along with Boone. Yeah, I thought about that, too. I feel real bad for him. But if one of us got to get it, I'd sure rather be him than me. <laughs> what did the two white men find to talk about? Oh, nothing in particular. Just, just past the time of day. You will not talk anymore. Yes, sir. Anything you say, Captain. <clears throat> you have spoken the truth. The boat is where you said it would be. I have seen it. When the moon hides its face behind the clouds, we will go. Does that mean you're going to turn me and him loose? After you have shown us how to capture the boat. Oh, that's downright simple. You just get us down to the river and I'll tell you just what I had in mind. Bring them. attention as soon as you hit the water. something, Talbot. That Boone is downright heartless. If we was being scalped, he wouldn't lift a hand. Well, go on, keep hollering. When he don't answer, we'll know they're on board. Boone! You just keep on yelling, you'll bring those redskins down on you for sure. They ain't on board yet. Boone! Answer me, Boone!
much help to you, this busted wing of mine. If it hadn't been for you, I'd lost my cargo. Here's a little something I found hidden away. You want me to help you with it? Oh, no, sir. Nobody ever had to help me with a drink on the day I was born. See, my mother just used to put the bottle within reaching distance. Oh. What you aiming to do? You can't float down this river all by yourself. Well, I can try. I got folks depending on me. I got to get you to a doctor. I'll say this for you. You're determined. You reckon that uh, Talbot and Carpenter are out there someplace? Yeah, I reckon so. Those Indians would have tied them up before they left. Well, I got to admit that they ain't real honest. They did try to sell us out to the Shawnee. But they're good rivermen. Almost as good as me. Are you suggesting I take them on as crew? Them two is the only chance you got of getting where you're going. But don't you worry. They'll do just what I tell them to. I'm giving you my word. See, I figure you and me are friends now. And I ain't never went back on my word to a friend. All right, friend. Your word's good enough for me. You just sit here and rest a spell. Enjoy that jug while I go after your partners. Mm -hmm. 